<laughs> he's, he, I mean, he's definitely gotten easy to start on. I think Joe Biden is uniquely. Um, we support policy, bring disparate groups together to support keeping jobs in this country, to support manufacturing. Issues about the Midwest, issues about uh, the direction of the He's such an incredible, incredible leader in Congress. I, I just don't want to lose a How would you convince them to, to care about this upcoming election? Like, can you expect them to vote for Biden in good conscience? I think right now it is up for grabs, whether that community can be mobilized and it's, it, it, to, to be part of our coalition. And we are going to need to defeat Donald Trump, every voter. We're going to need the Arab American vote, the Muslim American vote, the progressives vote. any pain and the anger in Dearborn and in parts of uh, Michigan and with the Arab American and Muslim American communities real, and it's raw. Uh, and I don't think we're gonna win back that trust until we have a change in policy. Obviously the, the Arab American vote is, is vital in, uh, uh, for, for Biden to secure a, a second term. In your opinion, why, why hasn't he um, diverged from the, the current uh, his current stance on the issue, and do you think that he will uh, as we approach a primary and as we approach a presidential election? I hope so. That's why I'm here, trying to get him to, 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 to shift course uh, on some of the foreign policy. First perspectives, and then maybe we can do what you're doing in this room. Stop learning to talk to